It actually just went along the lines of 33-year-old girl digital marketer, um, a million in moons. And I was like, what the... In one moment, you're feeling like Linda Ikeji. You know, you're like, this is what it feels to be Linda Ikeji for a day. And you know, you're like, I don't have any customers. Nobody's paying. Nobody... Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Awam Kenneth and this is my channel. So from the title, you can tell that I am saying it's a note programming for me. Um, the reason is that I'm just trying to wrap my head around what I really want to focus on and what I really enjoy the most. Because I've come to the realization that if you are going to be exceptionally good at something, you have to be somewhat obsessed you know, to the thing that you like. You can think um, Queen of um, Queen of Gambit, right? You can see that the girl wasn't exceptionally like brilliant, brilliant. Um, she is in her right. But um, you can see how obsessed she was to chess. Like her life basically revolved around chess. And for me, I don't see programming as that for me right now. I mean, I like the money and that's why I'm drawn to it. Like if you had told me that, I had an easier entry into the field of, let's say, being an Olympic swimmer or something, I would have gone down that route, right? But programming seems easy. Anyone can just basically learn fully tutorials on YouTube or on websites and just go through it. And I kind of have like the brain power to harness that information and follow the rules. Um, but to be very extremely good at it, which I want, uh, I don't see me being in that mind space for now. And right now I'm kind of exploring the world of social media. I've never really given it a go. I've always kept social media at bay, at side, like, okay, I'm good in this thing. I know what to do here and this and that. But I haven't really just gone all out for it. And the reason being is when people go out uh, and go all out on social media, for me, it kind of looks like scammy and why would I be doing that, right? It doesn't look like native advertising, so just low formal, low ball. But I think it's all due to my faulty content creation, which I don't really give much of a thought. This video is a good example of it, but I'm trying better. And yeah, so you just like to go all in on it. And what really inspired me was, um, what was really pushing me now is, I read an article on Zikoko. So Zikoko, if you're watching this, I'm giving you a shout out. So please give your boy a shout out too. Uh, I normally follow the Naira Jolly stories. And I saw one earlier where a Nigerian, a 28-year-old 28 Nigerian earns about 4 million Naira every month uh, which brings it down to like 52 million era every month and i was like wow you know like i'm getting there 28 right i'm getting there like you know i still have more years to go up but when i saw a story you know, Zikoko, i just saw the email and i screamed basically it actually just went along the lines of 23 year old girl digital marketer um a million in months and i was like what the like, you know, I'm just like, why is Zikoko attacking me, right? Because I am currently 23, if my calculations are right, right? And I'm also, I call myself a digital marketer, basically. My CV, that's what it's there, right? My cover letters, I start with that line. I like to call myself a digital marketer. And I'm like, what am I doing? What am I doing wrong that I'm not ending that high? You know, like, that article really touched the nerve. And the good thing about that article is that it really showed the light, like for me, uh, that I can actually just take the social media and I can go far with it. I could actually end more high with it because I always had the mindset that tech was the way to end higher as an up and coming Nigerian. Like it's the easiest way to start ending in forex in Nigeria. And quite surprisingly, I'm wrong. I mean, I've been aware of this, but I just didn't have. You know, that kind of self-confidence to just say, you know, go forth and multiply. Um, I had the ideas of like, okay, you can make it big on YouTube. You can make it big as an influencer. You can make it big on this kind of like sort of things. But to make it big on the back end of social media where 
no one will not know like they will know your face um people you don't necessarily have to code for these platforms you just be like a manager of sorts on social media like a social media manager a content calendar creator a content creator and you can actually make much money um you don't have to do anything extra extra um don't get derailed by that point but yeah just anything extra extra marvelous or fantastic like for a programmer and i just need to know the basics of a language and be proficient in that language and know how to google your way around um reddit and open source code and all the kind of things that i'm not properly naming the website right now but you should get the idea so i was quite surprised i was like shocked i was like okay you know and it kind of like just gave like the extra confidence to say you know what kenneth put more energy into this and see where it goes and for this like for this year i have been doing a lot of trainings on the digital skills program um so i've been opportunity to like train for i think the mtn foundation and some other companies and yeah i'm just like okay you know what i can do this i just need to put more effort into it just a little bit more of motivation like you know keep yourself in the right places and yeah it will work well for you so for now um it's a no for programming for me, um, I was definitely still learning it because that's one of my goals to just actually learn it. Um, it was very embarrassing. I got, I got an interview, a technical interview, and the guy asked me to declare a function, and I was like, "What is a function? No, I mean, what? Not what is a function, bro? How do you go ahead by defining a function, right? Like, how do you declare a function if you're like totally just spaced out completely? And it's actually my fault." Um, this guy was actually very helpful. He walked me through the process. I was able to remember once he gave me the first line, like function, the name, the bracket, whatever, whatever. I just, okay, I was like, oh yeah, I remember now. But it was still my fault because I didn't really prepare. I wasn't anticipating a technical question. I was just thinking, oh, is it is a startup? This is gonna ask me if I want to volunteer, and I'll be like, yes, I'll, I'll help you Google and solve it on the go, that kind of thing. So that's the energy I came with. I didn't come prepared, and I was just all over the place. So I think it's social media for me for now, and the highs and lows are quite interesting. One moment you're feeling like Linda KG, you know, you're like. Is this what it feels to be Linda KG for a day? And the other way, like, I don't have any customers, nobody's paying, nobody's paying me. So it's just quite interesting to just go through that and also manage my YouTube channel and my website to Info Ninja on the go and just see how it happens. I'm kind of like a homebot for now and yeah, trying not to get my, my dad angry on the way, but wish me luck and hopefully i do a video every day until christmas okay so stay tuned guys see you in my next video